Okay, I thought I'd do this um, quick video just on the difference of like soldering and desoldering tools I've now got. Now, tonight I've just been doing this Atari um, Star Wars Amplophone uh, vector monitor, just replacing a few transistors on it. And um, yeah, so I mean, back in the day, I used to use this, like an old solder socket gun. I mean, this thing here is probably about 30 years old. I had this when I was at um, college and university. And um, it always seemed to be satisfactory. And my dad always used to say to me, well, a good a sign of a good solder sucker was the fact that it had like one of these guards on it to protect your eyes when you press the button so it didn't pop out and take your eyes out. Anyway, that's always served me well for the past God knows how long, but I mean, for the vast majority of the time, I haven't really done much electronics until the recent years. And then I started noticing this thing just wasn't cutting the mustard for desoldering stuff anymore. Probably because the spring and whatever is in it's shot. And then about a year or so ago, some guy recommended to me one of these engineer solder suckers, um, which seemed expensive. I forget how much it was now, but it seemed expensive for a solder sucker. But I mean, I have to admit, he was right. It was absolutely awesome. Um, it's got like a silicon tip, so you can heat it right up and it doesn't melt. Um, really good little thing. Um, engineer solder sucker, I believe is what it's called. And I used that for a while. And um, yeah, really, really good. My dad would probably be horrified because the fact it doesn't have an eye guard on it. But yeah, re that was really good. But even then I noticed that really wasn't cutting the mustard, especially when you saw like desoldering ICs and stuff. And then recently I bought this desoldering station here. This thing is absolutely the business, I have to admit. Um, so you have got your desoldering gun whack it on the leg you can sort of like it's it's got a hole inside it there you can put it over the leg press the gun and it just basically it sucks up the solder no problem at all i mean the components just fall out of the board with this thing i mean every so often you do have to sort of like ram a um a cleaning tool down it just to fit any blockages in there but i mean it's it's mint the only criticism of the desoldering station itself is the fact it doesn't actually have a soldering point because that would have been ideal I wouldn't have had to use me um, soldering iron I could have just used this the desoldering station I mean I have heard people that they do use the desoldering tip as a solder gun soldering iron which you can do but it's not ideal it's not it's not meant for soldering it is really just meant for desoldering and I mean, in terms of the um, soldering station, this was fairly cheap. Um, I've, I've obviously got other just like standard soldering irons, but it's obviously variable temperature. Um, easy replaceable tips on it. Um, it does have a hot air attachment to it, a hot air soldering gun, which is one of the main reasons I did buy it. Because I was going to start looking at sort of like doing surface mount stuff, but I've never really been brave enough to do the surface mount stuff, so I never really have that, um, never have the hot air attachment on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing here, uh, uh, this was about 60 quid, 60, 70 quid, um, but awesome. If you're doing a lot of desoldering, this is definitely the way to go. And I say my only criticism is it doesn't have a soldering iron and then you could just do everything off the one unit um i've never actually thought i don't know if that's interchangeable with that i don't know if it's the same connector but even then that's still a bit of a faff one it would have just been great if it had that built into it yeah and that's it um yeah we placed a few of the um the power transformers on this uh <coughs> vector monitor uh had partial collapse Bottom half of the screen was partial collapse. I believe it was the power trans transistors. So we place them and see how that goes.